The man we know as Ash Skarsgård thought he knew where he stood. A stone-cold hired killer, bounty hunter for a mysterious client, a lone wolf. Not a man who scrabbles about on the floor trying to recover spilt stew. But it seems like this mission is showing everyone a new side to themselves. It's seven in the morning. The search for our team seems to have died down or at least moved to a different area. But our teammates are about to get a nasty shock. Welcome to Team B, a war robot story. Episode three, Wake Up Call. What the hell? What's oh, going uh, on? I deduced that you wished to wake up approximately eight hours after you started your watch. I was waking you up. With that? That was the most soothing alarm sound bite I have. Would you like to choose a different one? No, 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 Guess with our energy drinks, I'm less good at all-nighters than I thought. <laughs> well, at least the droid didn't kill us overnight. Yes. Instead, I watched over you and ensured your continuing survival. Even though it would have been so easy. You are all sleeping as soundly as little children. Great. So what do we do now? We can't exactly settle down and wait for this whole thing to blow over. Why not? This is Earth. Do you really want to be exposed to all of this for longer than necessary? Okay, we've waited long enough. At meter, call the boss. I can't. What? Seriously? This is more of a don't call us, we'll call you situation. Are you kidding me? I'm sure a call will be incoming shortly. I have sent multiple requests. How sure? 53.215% sure. Huh. Great odds there. Fine, okay. Maybe we can figure out who set us up and deal with them. Let's try and get back to figuring out this whole mess, seeing as we're stuck here. Linda, what happened to you? How come you lost your bot? You haven't been ejected in years. Well, everything started smoothly enough. When you took down the security, we went inside. Security's down. Okay to proceed. Thanks, Arnav. What? What is this place? It's huge. I wasn't expecting it to be like this. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Can you scan the label? <laughs> we didn't go very far. The crate was almost by the doorway. It looked like it had just been delivered. It was just sitting there. Wow, what's in this thing? It weighs. Well, I guess it weighs more than a ton. <laughs> Lucky it was so close to the door, hey? So I picked it up, but when we got outside, well, you saw. As soon as you left the doorway, they came out of camouflage. We took out one of them and winged another one. But it got a bit hopeless. Fall back! Fall back! At some point, I dropped the package. Uh, oh, shit! Oh, damn it! You did what? We were in a massive gunfight, and it was heavy. And it's not like these bots are made with package transit in mind. We were under heavy fire, and I wanted to use my radius blast, so I needed to send Louie away, not that he'd go. Louie, please, I can handle this! You can't just stay on the field when you've got a chance to escape. Go! I'll be fine. Okay. You want to play rough? Come and get me! After that, I was down to three hostiles, two of which I took out. Gotcha! One of which took me out. Louis! On out! Anyone! Come on! I'm down to my last shields here! And now, my extremely expensive bot is out there somewhere, in pieces, getting trampled on. Great end to a mission. Ash? What? Quick question. How many robots did you state you were pursued by? What? 
How many hostiles were on your tail? I was comparing your report with the information I drew from your black box, and I found... Whoa, 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 whoa. How'd you get into my black box? That's private. Nothing's private, Ash. How do you think I know you? I've been scanning your black boxes. That's where I get my information about the way you work. It's how I build strategies. Because that's not creepy at all. It's not creepy. It's data analysis. What I was trying to say, before you interrupted me, was that the data on your black box and the data in your verbal report don't add up. And what exactly do you mean by that? Well, there were nine robots in action at the lab. But according to your black box, only two of the four you claimed pursued you were actually in pursuit. Ash? How would you explain this anomaly? Okay, so... Maybe I embellished the truth a little. I'm a freelancer. My entire career depends on my reputation. and It's a habit. Ha! I knew it! What? I knew you massaged your numbers. I don't always do it. Uh-huh, so the bar fight in Freenum? You really took down 37 men? There were at least 30. At least. Including the bar staff, who didn't really want to be involved. And that hit on k -Rot. Were there really 50 guards? Yes. I mean, on staff. On shift. Maybe not all of them. And when you took down one of the space tech offices? No. That was exactly how I said it was. My client was very specific. Oh. Huh. If you could leave off trading war stories for just a minute, who were the other two? What? The other two robots. Who were they? Shit, I have no idea. Maybe they were just... on a break. Didn't answer the siren? Seriously? I don't know. All I know is they weren't attacking me. I didn't know they were there. Uh, this is gonna be really bad for my career prospects, isn't it? Ha! <laughs> Well, you gotta be alive to have career prospects. You think we won't get out of here? Maybe. Depends how bad they wanted that package. Oh. And whether we've made it impossible for the next team to get it. What's the worst thing that can happen? We get blacklisted? We can just move out, right? Go to one of the other colonies. You're more likely to get redlisted. Redlisted? It's a step above blacklisted. I've dealt with a few of them in my time. Terminally. So, what's in the box? What? We don't know. At Mesa won't tell us. Not that box. Your black box is missing. Why'd you take it out? I'm... I was scared we'd have to leave it suddenly and it would get destroyed. I, I've got personal stuff on there. Personal stuff? What are you, 13? No, What I... are you trying to hide? I'm not hiding anything. I just... I have things I don't want to lose on there. Okay, so show us. No. Show us what's on the box! Ash! Calm the hell down! You're siding with the kid? I'm not siding with anyone. Oh good, everybody's got their guns out. This is a really good and productive way to spend our time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Louie, what are you doing? It takes guts to wade into the middle of a standoff on off. But it seems like Louie is doing just that. But what's so important? Find out next week on Team B. Team B is based on the War Robots game universe. Play now at wr.app slash story. You heard Kristen DiMercurio as Linda, Brandon G. Green as Louie, Nathan Blades as Arnav, Felix Trench as Atmita, and Graham Roat as Ash. You also heard the voice of Christopher Byron as narrator. Caroline Mix was the sign language consultant. The series was written, recorded, and directed by Beth Crane and Headley Knights of Battlebird Productions. Sound design was by Ilya Viktorov. Produced by Pixonic.